Coming up next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. All right, so we get another look tonight at the great Yair Rodriguez, DC. It's hard to remember a fighter being as hyped as Rodriguez was when he made his UFC debut at UFC 180 back in 2014. And for my money, he has largely lived up to that. Yeah, he's lived up to expectation. I remember when we met Yair on the Ultimate Fighter Latin America, right away you understood that there was a star quality about this kid, but also an ability to just be free inside of the octagon. And it shows in his performances. The knockout of the Korean Zombie will stand the test of time because it was one of the greatest fights you had ever seen. And Yair and his toughness allowed him to go and find that knockout with very short time left on the clock. At 26 years of age, that highlight that he produced, one of the best in UFC history. We'll see if he can follow it up with another win here tonight. All right, so we get another look tonight at the featherweight contender, Zabit Magomed Sharipov. I don't even know if there are enough buttons on the controller to do everything that this guy can do in an MMA set. You can't even button mash your controller that you're holding <laughs> right now to do all the combinations that we have set for Zabit. He is just truly, truly a phenomenal mixed martial artist. He is in there with guys that want to strike. He has the ability to hit him with things that you'll never see coming. But he also has a great wrestling ability and a takedown ability to change the course of the action. Zabit is truly special. He's also had to handle some different opponents, some different adversity in the UFC. He has emerged with flying colors every step of the way. Legendary work ethic. Zabit still with his eyes on the prize, chasing another big win here tonight. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. Magomed Sharipov is two years the elder. He is two inches taller. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. Once again, here is the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a freestyle fighter holding a professional record of 13 wins, two losses, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Chicago, Illinois. Yeah! El Pantera! Rodriguez! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 18 wins, one loss. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Zombie Mago And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. All right, so the UFC is back at the O2 Arena. Oh! Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Big punch from the clinch. Oh, spinning back fist. All right, so there's the early takedown. He told us on Thursday he didn't necessarily see a path to victory. If he couldn't get takedowns, that is certainly a good sign. Right away, he got the takedowns. I don't believe they could have imagined that it would work so well so early. Great job. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look from the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. He's to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. He goes flat. Oh, he might have got it with a choke. to 
asleep with the arm chop. The moment he dropped his chest, it dropped all of his weight on his opponent's neck and put him to sleep. Jiu-Jitsu practitioners around the world celebrating the effort of that young man tonight. He's done, he's done! <laughs> yeah, that's about as good as it gets with that choke, and if you're not willing to tap out as he was not, then you're gonna go to sleep, and that's exactly what happened. A beautiful setup and even better technique to get the finish to put him out cold. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliano calls a stop to this contest at one minute, 18 seconds of the very first round. For the winner by submission, Zombie! So what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was a very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he can get to his position, which is, and he would finish by submission tonight.